and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys about Eureka. Now a number of you may have noticed that the Eureka Thunderbolt 3 series is probably one of the most affordable solutions out there for Thunderbolt 3 users that want RAID but still want all the fast storage options readily available to them whether it's in post-production or as a long-term archive of storage. Now most of these devices and we could choose any of the Thunderbolt 3 solutions here arrive with one core thing in common. Although all of them have got a RAID controller built in and an LCD panel, almost all of them on the rear, if you have a look, have a network port built in. A LAN port there that a number of you were really, really hoping enabled you to not only access your data very, very fast over Thunderbolt, but, uh, but also utilize a means of accessing over the network. And as I've told you several times in the past, this port here is not to be utilized for network attached storage and is more of a configuration and system monitoring port. So, as I talked about it so much, I think it's worth me showing you guys exactly what happens when you connect to this port. So, what I've done is I've set up a six bay device here in the studio, I know you can't see it right now, and if you look for the device on your network using software such as IP Scanner as my preferred tool, if I'm honest, but there are other network tools as well. And if you utilize these, you can scan your local area network with your Eureka uh, device connected to the network via a switch and utilizing a free tool like Advanced IP Scanner, it will search for the device on the network along with every other computer on your network environment. Now I'm not gonna let that finish to scan because I can tell you right now that that Eureka is on this IP. This is where that Eureka is on my network environment. As long as you're utilizing a PC, Mac, or mobile device that is utilizing the same network environment, so sharing the internet in caveman speak, as the Eureka that you've just connected, it will readily appear. Now, once you've gone to that IP that it has, thanks that you would have got from the advanced IP scanner software, from there you need to log in to your device. The password by default is admin and four zeros then click sign in and from here you can now see the user interface of your Eureka which you are accessing over the network so if the LCD panel doesn't give you enough real-time information from here you can then access your Eureka device and learn more from here you can create the RAID if there's additional disks and you can also check the existing RAID set if you so choose to learn more about your Eureka device. You can delete the RAID, expand the RAID and monitor. Lots of stuff to do with your volume and the temperature and the background information of your device. There are loads of options of configuration available. But once again, you cannot use this tool to access your data in a direct sense. This is a configuration tool and therefore something that you guys need to know. Because if you are gonna utilize an Eureka Thunderbolt NAS, uh, Thunderbolt DAS in your network environment and to work with live, it might be useful to have the device connected to your network so you can see alerts and changes and apply changes to your device in real time without having to use the LCD panel on the front, which although handy, is pretty bloody small. But this has been what the, the LAN port on the Eureka is actually for. And as you can see, there are loads of things here to do. And I'm not gonna go through them now, but I wouldn't hurt to go through them if I were you guys, just to see what more you can do with your RAID device. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Click like and subscribe to learn more. And of course, if you are looking for a Thunderbolt RAID system, you would be hard pushed to get a better one than the Eurekas, because right now, they're easily one of the most affordable. They arrive in a multitude of different variations of size and storage, with the added bonus that more and more, we are seeing them arrive with improved ports and connections, as well as some of those new raw power ports that you guys on location will need to know about, as well as some of those SAS expansion ports too. But, thank you so much for watching, click like if you enjoyed it, click subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you guys next time.